Hello everyone, we will continue that topic about on HANA and in this video we will start with HANA DB architecture or we can say HANA database architecture. From the starting itself we are saying yes HANA has in-memory database then what is the architecture of that database what are the various components in that particular database so in this video we will cover what is the architecture of hana database or what are the various components of hana database now sap hana database consists of multiple components it means there are more than one component in SAP HANA database, among all those components, the most important component is index server. Again, another important question from the interview perspective. Interviewer generally ask, yes, there are so many components in SAP HANA database. Then what is the most important component? The most important component is index server. Now, what are the various components of SAP HANA database? The first one, index server, that is the most, most important component. Then we have preprocessor server, then we have name server, and then we have statistic server. We will go into the detail of each and every component. Then what is the purpose of all these components? Now, firstly, we will start with index server. Now, what is index server? Just now we covered, yes, it is the most important component. That's why it is called as the heart of SAP HANA database. It is the kernel of SAP HANA database, most, most important component. Whatever the processing is there, whatever the HANA processing is there, it take place in the index server. That's why it is called as most important component. It is called as the heart of HANA database. It is called as the kernel of HANA database. Now, index server contains the actual data and the engines for processing that data. Whatever the actual data is there and we, it has the engines also which will process that data. So, if this index server has the actual data and the engines to process that particular data. Now, whenever we fire any SQL or MDX, now you all know what is SQL. You all know SQL is structured query language. You are writing the SQL queries, select statement, you are writing the column, that is SQL. Now, many people will say, what is this MDX? There is no need to go into detail of MDX. But just I will give some hint. What is MDX? MDX stands for multi-dimensional expression. Now, what is this MDX? This MDX is a query language for OLAP system. You all know what is SQL? Structured query language. It is a language. It is a query language for the relational database. Similarly, MDX is a query language for OLAP system. You all know what is OLAP, Online Analytical Processing. So for OLAP system, what is the query language that is MDX? And it is just similar for the relational databases. What is the query language SQL? Anyways, there is no need to go into detail what is MDX because our target is to understand 
what are the various components of SAP HANA database? What is the architecture of SAP HANA database? So whenever SQL or MDX is fired, the index server take care of all these requests and process them. Just simple example, you are writing a select query, yes. So it means who will process that particular select query, who will process that particular request, the index server will process that particular request. And last statement I have written, MDX is a query language for OLAP system just like SQL is for relational database. So now we will move on to our next component. What is our next component? Our next component is preprocessor server. Now, what is this preprocessor server? The preprocessor server is used for text data analyze analysis. It is used to analyze the text data. Now, index server, you all know it is the main heart or kernel, kernel of the SAP HANA database. The index server uses the preprocessor server. It means ultimately index server will use this preprocessor server to analyze the text data and then extract the information from that text data. So what is preprocessor server? It is used for analyzing the text data. Ultimately, our index server will use this preprocessor server to analyze the text data and then extract the information from that text data. Now, what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we started with SAP HANA database architecture. What are the various components of SAP HANA database? Now, in SAP HANA database, there are multiple components, but the most important component is index server. Now, what are those components? First one is your index server, preprocessor server, name server, statistics server. Then firstly, we started with index server. Index server, it is the most important component it is the kernel heart of SAP HANA database because into this particular component, all HANA processing takes place. It contains the actual data and it has the engines to process that particular data. Now, whenever you go for any SQL or MDX, yes, who will process those MD SQL or MDX? your index server only. Now, what is this MDX? MDX stands for multi-dimensional expression. It is just like a query language for OLAP. It is similar to SQL. SQL is just like a query language for relational databases. Same way, MDX is a query language for OLAP system. There is no need to go into the detail of the same. Now, next component we covered is preprocessor server. Now, what is this preprocessor server? It is used for analysis of text data. Ultimately, our index server will use this preprocessor server to analyze the text data and then extract the information from that particular text data. Now, into the next video, we will go for name server, we will go for statistics server, and the most, most important thing is, we talked about, yes, index server is the most important component, but this index server has itself so many components, then we will go for a separate video in which we go for the detailed components of index server also. See, as of now, we are covering what are the various components of SAP HANA database. 
then we have components in index server also that will also be covered in the future. So that's it in this video. Thank you.